What is happening? Fellow collectors, Mike the Hunter is here, man, finally, I know. We are riding around in my new whip, the new Mike the Hunter mobile, which is uh, my, my Toyota Tacoma, which I'll show you in a bit, um, you know, what it looks like on the outside. It's fully stock right now, but uh, man, I'm just so happy to be riding around in my own whip, uh, recording my own toy hunt, my own vlog. Like, I feel like things are starting to get back to normal here. For a while, I was carless, man. My my car took a giant crap on me um, from all the the mileage that I had put into it. And for like six months, dude, I was without a car, uh, carpooling with uh, with the misses. So, as a look, how I look at how I look driving my own truck. Look at me. Ooh. So today we're gonna be riding around together. We're gonna have a day out with Mike, which is my day off, man. Um, I haven't had a day off like this in uh, in in a month, I would say. Um, I've been working like six days a week at uh, the postal service, and on my days off, I spend with the family. I spend with the kids, or I'm tired and I just spend at home. But today, um, I was getting ready for work. I was ready to go, man. And then they sent me a text right before I left out the door saying, hey, you go ahead and take the day off. And I got so happy. Coco was getting ready to be picked up by her mom and Logan, I was gonna take him to daycare. Still took him to daycare and with Coco, I was like, you know what, Chloe, let's go out and get a donut. Let's go have a nice little morning together. So we went out, got her a donut, um, uh, you know, hung out with each other in the morning, played some Uno, uh, added some stuff to her collection, helped reorganize her shelves and stuff. So it was nice. But Coco went ahead and got picked up. She's going to the beach with her mom today. Lucky her. But me, I am by myself, which means I could do whatever the hell I want for the next, what, eight hours. So I decided to go out, take you guys with me, just visit a few shops, have a day out with Mike, and uh, hopefully we find some toys or something to take home at the end of the day unbox and uh, call it a day man but i'm so happy to finally have a day like this where i can hang out with you guys take you with me on this adventure so uh let's get it on so it is a beautiful day here in downtown redlands this is my hometown right here man and uh before we get our journey started i wanted to go ahead and show you the whip this is my toyota tacoma 2021 which like I said, man, it's fully stock. Um, the wheels, I'm just grateful that the wheels are already black, the rims. So, um, but dude, I've been dying to get this color for the longest time. This is the Lunar Rock, I believe they would call it. Everyone wants to build their ride, man, when they get a new truck. So I, I got plans for this. It's just gonna take a couple years, maybe longer. Um, but first things first, man, I have to tint my windows because this thing is a freaking fishbowl. Um, literally just driving around all day. I got the sun beating down on my face. Uh, the back is not so bad, but still, I want a dark tint to make this baby look badass. And then, um, you know, from there, once the tint is done, um, my, I'm hoping to get a new grill. Uh, possibly new grill and a new bumper next so time and money guys time and money but uh, this is my baby right here the hunter mobile which I'm still thinking of a name and I'm thinking of uh, kaiju which is um, Godzilla right I don't want to just name it Godzilla but apparently you know kaiju is another name for Godzilla so I think that would be cool so uh, first things first we're gonna go to a shop called quest my local comic shop here in Redlands um, they're very expensive when it comes to Marvel Legends and figures but I always like to go there for like their artwork and the posters so we'll see what they got just look at it man beautiful downtown Redlands on a winter day everyone's at work right now it's a Thursday so it's not crowded filled with tourists you know it's just a nice day to take a walk and visit your local comic shop I always like to see the, the stuff they have in the windows always some cool stuff comics art and culture it's what I'm all about baby Thank you. 
That is just so simple, something to keep in the box, something to put on the shelf. I like that. Get the hell out of here, dude. Blink-182 Funko Pops? I never even knew these came out. That is dope. What is that? Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. What the heck? That's pretty cool. Dude, it is windy. It is really windy today. It's like a blizzard. But um, no, I didn't find anything there. Um, but I did see a lot of cool shit. Like their stickers are always the best. Their art is always the best. Funko Pops are always really good. But um, a lot of my Funko Pops I usually find for a good price at KS Collectibles. They always have some good ones. So, um, but I did get Mary. There's a birthday card. That is a pretty sweet card. All right, so. Didn't find anything at a shop called Quest, but I always love taking a visit there just to see if they got any new posters. Um, they didn't get any worth buying for me, so um, I mainly always go there just for their Godzilla stuff. They always have the best Godzilla stuff. I've bought Funko Pops from there, Bus Banks from there, posters of Godzilla, So, but nothing today, which I'm not tripping about. So uh, next, where am I gonna go next, man? That's the thing about doing a toy hunt is you gotta have a route. You gotta make yourself a route and stay dedicated to that route. Um, what time is it right now? Holy shit. I forgot, here in Redlands, there is the Redlands Galleria. It is filled with antiques, nothing but antiques. And there's people that sell their stuff in each of their sections. They like rent a spot out inside of the Galleria and then sell all their collectibles and stuff. They usually have a lot of old shit in there when it comes to collectibles. Um, for you guys that you saw my last video, uh, uh, healing my inner child with toys, um, I had went to the gallery uh, and found a bunch of good stuff. I believe I found a, a G.I. Joe VHS tape of uh, the G.I. Joe movie. So maybe I'll, I'll take a stroll through there, but the thing about that place is they're, they're weird with their rules. They're weird with recording. It's owned by a bunch of old ladies, so... I don't want to offend them in any way of bringing my modern tech camera in there. And, oh, well, you're not supposed to be filming in here. I don't want to do that. So I might, I might sneak my phone in, you know, film some stuff. But uh, that's if I find anything. Oh my God, look at this. Dude, if I can have a little TV like this in my collector room, just to play like old G.I. Joe VHS and old cartoons X-Men, uh, like all those old cartoons and just have it in my collector room like that, dude. Beautiful. Look, it even has a little VHS cassette part right there. Oh, this is sick, man. I like this. Dude, that just makes me want to go and buy one of those TVs now, just to have it in the room playing some VHS tapes. Look at this Rambo lunchbox, dude. Oh my gosh, Batman and Joker. Dude, I love it. This little corner, we got Wolverine. Oh my gosh. Look at this score, dude. Senators, holy crap. Oh my gosh. God. Dude, this is awesome. Look at this. Ned Flanders. Dude, look at this. We got all these old school VHS tapes. Work sucks, Beavis and Butthead. Look at all these good movies, dude. I didn't find Halloween 1978, but still, there's a bunch of good ones here. Dude, is this an old school Barney? Oh my gosh, 10 bucks for the Barney, guys. Look at that. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? 
So I'm just about done here in downtown Redlands and I gotta say, I got some lucky finds in the Redlands Galleria. Chloe has been asking me to find her a original Ken doll, um, like Malibu Ken, blonde hair Ken, and sure enough, man, I scored this loose Malibu Ken in a bag for only 13 bucks, which you cannot beat, man. This is the old school Ken right here, dude. Look at him. Looking good. He's even got the little uh, the flowers around his neck. What do you call those? Floral neck, floral necklace. I don't know what you call them. Uh, he's got the cool little shorts. This is awesome, man. A cool little score for my daughter. Um, when I'm out there on the hunt, I like to look for stuff for her too. So, pretty sweet score for me that I had to get for only 20 bucks. And this is the first time I've ever seen this in store, in person. I had to get the 97 X-Men Wolverine. Now what tripped me out the most was how good the head sculpt looks, especially on this one right here. Look at that, dude. Look at the good face sculpt on there. It comes with the extra mask. The quality on these X-Men Marvel Legends just keep getting better and better. I think the other day I went to Walmart and I saw the new Bishop, which looked insane too, dude. It just looks so good right out of the cartoon. So. Kind of pisses me off because I have a lot of Wolverines that I've collected over the years from Marvel Legends, from Hasbro, and they just keep getting better and better. But this one right here is definitely the best one I've seen. Um, I really wish they would have popped the head on where he's like, ah, like, you know, mouth open. But, dude, that one right there, that is the shit. I think I'm going to unbox him and pose him on my shelf with that head because just, it just looks too good. He comes with the butterfly joints, the good articulation, the old school suit and everything. The boots, oh my god, the boots look good. And there you have the other figures. Um, I was tempted to get one of the Sentinels, but nah, like if I'm ever gonna get a Sentinel in my life, it's gonna be one of the giant ones, uh, like a Haslab Sentinel, which will probably never happen, but that's the only Sentinel I'll really want in my collection. And to top it off, I decided to go next door to the local thrift store we had down here in Redlands. And they had this little treasure chest filled with random little toys for a dollar each. So I thought, okay, let me look for, you know, a little something in here, maybe find some cool figurines. If you guys know me, you know that I have a lot of love for old classic retro uh, minifigures from like McDonald's, uh, from old cartoons back in the day. So I managed to score these three. These are uh, McDonald's french fries, but they're bendy figures. So you have this one right here, which is, uh, he's got like a pink hat, some headphones, cool little shirt, little hands, very cool. You have this one, which is a baseball player. He's got a little baseball cap, nice little shirt. Kind of reminds me of uh, Bananas in Pajamas. You remember that cartoon? I don't know why it reminds me of that, but. And then lastly, I scored this one, which looks like he's, uh, I don't know what that is. He's on a pogo stick or something cool little helmet but dude this is something to add to my uh retro little cartoon figuring collection so three bucks can't beat that all right visiting ross after the holidays hopefully i don't know maybe i'll find something good here probably not because there's a lot of collectors that are uh in the ross trend right now they know that there's a lot of good shit that you can get so um who knows, man? Who knows if I'll find anything at all? Holy crap, look at all of the twins, dude. And I think, oh my gosh, we got Croc Masters for $11.99. Got a lot of them. You got one, two, three, four, five, but no. Oh, nice, dude. We got a Blue Marvel. Even more Croc Masters. Holy crap, dude. But no other cool Joes, man. I already got these guys. You might be able to make uh, some cool customs with an extra croc. Maybe a repaint. But I ain't got time for that, dude. I have no more time for any more customs in my life. Ooh, Mario. Nice. Mario figures for Coco. I wonder if they have some characters that she doesn't have yet. Oh, here we go. We finally got barbecue. I don't have this one yet. Yeah, but I'm in no rush to get this one. I prefer the orange suit barbecue, so and I'm pretty sure a lot of people do, which is why this one went on sale. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass on him. All right, I'm clocking out for a lunch break, man. I'm starving. I went to Ross, didn't find much. I found the GI Joes that you guys saw, but I, I wasn't trying to get that, uh, that barbecue. I'm just, I'm just gonna pass on it. Like, I love the orange 
barbecue that we got first. Um, if I find that one in the future, whatever, like maybe I'll get it loose or something, but I'm not in a rush to get it right now for six bucks when I could put that six bucks towards something else that I really want. I went to TJ Maxx and they had a bunch of the Stephen Curry figures as well as LeBron James. I almost got the LeBron James. The only reason I didn't get it is because the TJ Maxx line was monstrous. You got all those those moms standing in line getting all those home goods, you know, because home goods and TJ Maxx is combined. I said, fuck that, I'm out of here. Let's go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have any cool artwork for 50% off. They had some cool artwork for 40% off, but again, I'm not gonna spend 20 bucks on an art piece I don't really care to get right now, so passed up Hobby Lobby too. Then when I stepped out of Hobby Lobby, that magnificent scent of the Habit Grill just fucking drifted right by my nostrils, just like a cartoon. And I went, and like, you know, in, in the cartoons, your, your feet like lift up from the ground and you like follow the smell. That was me. So I had to get me a cheeseburger, a double char burger from the Habit Grill. Hold up, before we, before I take a fucking, did they give me napkins? Fuck, they didn't give me napkins. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this without napkins. I should have got some, but I didn't like a dumbass because I trusted them that they gave me napkins. Let's get a look at that double char burger before I fuck this shit up. Excuse my language. But I'm hungry, and this just looks incredible. Ah. That is so fucking good. Oh my god! Oh, there's a girl parked like four spaces down from me. She probably thinks I'm a fucking psychotic guy screaming at a cheeseburger. I asked for a water cup, but I think she charged me for a regular cup, so I got Sprite because I'm a fucking rebel. Oh man, I got some, that's embarrassing. I apologize if I got any sauce going on in the mustache in the flavor saver. Um, I've grown out my mustache very much so and a lot of you have noticed. Um, I just got tired of having it lined up all the time when I, I wanna get like a monstrous mustache. So pros, it just makes the beard look more full, look cooler. Uh, con, you get fucking food stuck in your stash all day. When you're drinking drinks, your, your stash just gets soaked in whatever you're drinking all day. So it gets messy. So if I got any shit stuck up here, hey, forgive me, man, but this, I don't give a fuck. This burger's delicious. So let's, so let's rewind a little bit here, okay? I know I went out hunting for toys today, right? And I did get some toys. I got a couple toys. Uh, but shut the fuck up. But. Let me tell you something. When I went to that Redlands Galleria antique shop and I walked into that booth with that retro VHS TV Panasonic combo, oh my God. Like, it, they, ha they, they, they know exactly what they were doing. They were playing the movie, just letting it play on its own, let, you know, people walking by and they see that and they're like, oh my God. That makes me want to watch some VHS movies. At least it fucking worked on me, okay? It worked 150% because I went up to the TV and it said not for sale. That sucks. It was only there to show their VHS tapes that they're selling, so. But when I saw that, I was like, dude, I, I wonder if I can get one on OfferUp or Facebook Marketplace. You know, a bunch of people, they sell that shit. So believe it or not, after I left the Galleria, uh, I went to a local pawn shop in downtown Redlands too just to see if they had any. They didn't have any, obviously. They had a bunch of modern shit, right? They had a 32 inch screen TV, which I was like, hmm, what if I get a 32 inch screen TV and put it in my room and hook up a VHS tape to it? Why? But I want the real deal. I want the little Panasonic combo so I can hear the sound of the VHS TV with the look of the VHS screen and it's simple, I don't have to hook up a VCR to any fucking TV, so it's right there. So I wanted that actual TV, man. So what I did is I sat in my car for like 20 minutes on my phone uh, on OfferUp and I found one, dude. I found the exact same brand. It was a 13 inch Panasonic VCR TV combo. Homeboy was selling it for a hundred bucks in Upland. I said a hundred bucks, pretty steep for you, boy. 
maybe I could uh, maybe I can water it down a little bit. So I shot my shot and I asked if he could do 60 bucks. Surprisingly, he hit me back up in like five minutes and he said, could you do 70? I think I could do 70. Hold up, Mike. Hold up. You gonna drop 70 fucking smackaroos on a VHS piece of shit? You damn right I am. You damn right I am. Because one, you don't feel the feeling that I get when I see that shit. It's just retro, like, oh my God, it looks so fucking, like it just, it brings me home, you know? Half of you are like, I wouldn't, I, Mike, $70 can go toward a fucking whatever the fuck. And then the other half are like, $70 for one of those TV combos, that is not bad. And you are 100% right, that is not bad because I looked at that same TV on Facebook Marketplace, on, on fucking Mercari, is that how you pronounce it? Mercari, Mercury, I don't fucking know. Dude, people are selling that TV for like 150, 160 bucks just for one of those. For other ones, even smaller VCR combos, dude, almost 200 for those shits. Just because they are retro. They're considered vintage TVs now, so for collectors, yeah, they're gonna put some hefty prices on that shit. So for this dude to sell me this thing for 70 bucks and it works perfectly fine, dude, dude, how the fuck am I not gonna get it? Mmm. Every bite just fucking gets so much better. Ah. Oh. In and out to me is better than the habit, but if I had to choose another burger place next to In and Out, it would be the habit. Did you, fun fact. Did you know that In and Out is ranked number 2 as the healthiest cheeseburger in America? That's pretty cool. I forgot who the number 1 was, but uh That's why I love In and Out, man. Almost choked on some fucking lettuce. The last fucking bite, man. The vintage TV, right? Which I can't even believe I'm, I'm saying that. Saying that those VCR TVs are vintage, fuck, that makes me feel old. But... I don't know, man. It doesn't seem like that long ago, you know, the, the, those types of teeth. Actually, yeah, it kind of does. The feeling that I got when I saw it inside of that shop, I just, I felt like, dude, I want to take that feeling home with me. Meaning, I want to prop that TV up somewhere in the corner of my room, somewhere on a nice little desk with a bunch of collectibles around it. And just every now and then when I'm in my room, you know, working on my edits, working on posing some figures, you know, just re reshaping some stuff in my room. How cool would it be to have your favorite uh, cartoons playing on that shit in the background? So for one, like playing the 90s X-Men TV show on VHS, you know, uh, the G.I. Joe movie, Power Rangers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, old Cartoon Network shows, you know, just of anything that you remember watching as you were you were a kid, just popping it in the VHS tape and just letting it play, man, and, and just keeping that nostalgia alive. I thought that would be so fucking cool, and I want that feeling. If $70 gets me that feeling and I can keep it forever, as long as it doesn't go to shit, I'll pay that 70 bucks, man, and I'll, I'll drive to Upland. I don't give a fuck. I will drive to Upland from Redlands and grab that shit as long as I know that I'm taking it home tonight. So I'm waiting on his reply. I don't know if he'll ever respond. I don't know if he's at work. Probably because it's a Thursday evening. Uh, people got fucking jobs. They don't all have days off like I do today. 13-inch Panasonic for 100 bucks. I got him to knock it down to 70 you see that he's got some Dragon Ball Z on it, man. This is every single one of these people that I've seen post this on their offer up or whatever. They got some type of cartoon playing on it, so they know what's up. They know exactly why we want it for, and they're fucking advertising it like that. So, um, yeah, man, that's that's my goal for today. Is if I can get my hands on that TV, I'll be a happy man. But let me tell you something. As far as collectibles. I found some pretty cool scores today with the Wolverine, with the Ken doll for Chloe, but what I have been hunting for that I know 100% I'm not going to find in any stores, these are my top hunts, okay, which I'm most likely just going to have to buy them online, uh, which I don't mind, but uh, dude, I want the new Chester the Cheetah figure. 
Um, I think it was from Super 7, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Chester the Cheetah, which comes with like a bag of hot, uh, a bag of Cheetos. He comes with switchable hands with like cheese dust on his fingers and he's like fully posable. I want that. That's like one of my number ones right now. Number two is a 12 inch Mecha Godzilla uh, figure. Um, that's kind of like the bust bank material, you know what I mean? Like the hollow insides with like the hard rubber outside or hard, so soft plastic, I'm sorry. I'm looking for a 12 inch Mecha Godzilla to put uh, either behind glass or on my display shelf next to my other 12 inch Godzilla because your boy has been heavily into Godzilla lately um, and I've been trying to you know, collect all the monsters I can get, but fuck, those Bandai figures are expensive, man. Like for one, people are like at least $20, $25 minimum for a Bandai figure that doesn't even fucking pose much. It's a soft plastic figure, like damn, 25 bucks, come on. So that's what I'm onto lately. So Chester the Cheetah, Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, and uh, what else, man? Obviously the G.I. Joes, like, but for the G.I. Joes, dude, I, it just blows me away how much shit goes to clearance in, in such a short time that I'm like, hold up, let me just take a step back. Why am I gonna go and rush and buy these Joes for full price when I could wait it out a little bit and see which ones drop, which ones become the peg warmers, okay? Because Target, right now, my Target is overstocked with Hawks. They're all there sitting, and a week before that, they had Shockwave and Buzzer for $12.49 on sale at Target. So I'm like, dude, those are gone. So how, how long is it going to be until Hawk and the rest of these figures are for $12.49? Oh, and the Tiger Force Flint, dude, he was on sale for 7 bucks at Target. What the hell, man? So I'm seeing all these clearances happen left and right. I'm seeing Joe's pop up at Ross, and I'm like, why Why am I gonna rush to buy them, dude? I can buy them on Amazon right now if I wanted to, but am I gonna do that? No, I'd rather save up a little bit more and get the stuff, get the real good jewels that I want, such as that Chester the Cheetah and uh, the Godzilla. Like I said, that shit you're not gonna be able to find in stores, you could find those online. And, and for like the Godzilla stuff, you could only find it like on Mercury, eBay, uh, offer up stuff like that. So that's been my shopping territory lately just on those those online stores So but other than that, yeah, man, um, this guy's not replying. So I think I'm gonna make my last stop What is it four o'clock right now? I think I'm gonna make one stop to KS collectibles. I love always going there and chatting with the guys man I always find myself staying there for like a fucking hour uh, Just talking when I went to just to take a little gander at what they got new and I stay there for like an hour just talking nerd stuff, man. Just shooting the shit, which is not bad. It's therapy. It really is. When you talk to your fig friends or your nerd friends, it's really therapy, dude. Because you're talking to people that know what the fuck you're talking about. As opposed to a family member or another friend that has no idea what you're into. Like if I went up to one of my family members and was like, Oh, did you see Godzilla Minus One? Oh, it was so good, dude. Did you see the fucking graphics? That person's gonna be like, yeah, it's it was okay. I mean, it wasn't the coolest Godzilla movies. I kind of like the American films, you know, the one that the Godzilla versus Kong coming up. That one's pretty cool. Shut the fuck up. Get out of here with that fucking neon pink Godzilla atomic breath bullshit running at full speed with King Kong wearing a fucking infinity gauntlet. Get the fuck out of here. That movie looks cool, but dude, Godzilla minus one just shat all over the American Godzilla movies. Like for real, man. Like I said, dude, when you're talking to people who know stuff like that, you know, they get real deep into the, the nitpicks of uh, a pop culture and stuff like that. Hey man, like I said, it's therapy, so. All right, I'm gonna get the hell out of this parking lot. I'm done with my Habit Burger. That was fucking delicious. Let's go see what uh, KS Collectibles has got. Oh my gosh, rush hour is hitting, man. People are getting off of work. People are getting off of work, and now they're gonna clog the lanes. Oh, that's why I love having my truck, man. I could just scream in my truck all I want and, and do my impressions and shit. Like, I always like to do that, uh, that guy from SpongeBob, the one that didn't get his drink with his pizza. You know, the how am I supposed to eat my pizza without my drink? Didn't you ever once think of the customer? You call yourself a delivery boy? Well, I ain't buying! Oh, brother, this guy stinks! 
Ah, uh, well, it ain't 100% rush hour yet, man, but it's gonna get there. That fucking freeway is gonna be clogged, my boy. Oh, man, you got Mr. Taco there on the right, man. For those of you who have had Mr. Taco in Redlands, you know how good their food is and their beer. Man, they used to have, um, they used to serve their beers in ice cold frozen mugs until people mess it. Oh my God, there's a train coming. Are you kidding me? They stopped serving the glass mugs because jackasses started getting into fights and breaking the glasses over each other's heads. Like, come on, man. All right, we're coming up on KS Collectibles here on the right, right here in this 7-Eleven parking lot. Oh man, I love KS Collectibles, man. I really do. Every time I come here, there's always something good that I find. Um, I always love digging in their dollar basket with uh, just a bunch of random toys poured in there. And I always find something good, man. Like all those little uh, cartoon figurines, little minis. I got them from here, dude, for a buck each. Oh shit, am I gonna fit in here? Yes, I am. You damn right I am. I just gotta readjust myself. Chaos collectibles, toys, action figures, comics. We buy, sell, trade. So come on down and get some good shit, man. Let's see what they got. We got some of Richard's custom figures right here. Look at these guys, dude. Mr. T, dude. I gotta show these off every time I come in here. Just look how sick they look. Star Wars figure customs. Just a little repaint. Got all these custom WWE figures. Another Mr. T, look at that. And here's that little goodie basket I was telling you guys about. Got all this good stuff in here. Look that, we got Patrick. Chloe would like that one. Get that Jack in the Box. Dude. Oh, code name Kids Next Door. I gotta find the rest of them. Oh, look at that little Lisa. Look at these, dude. Ninja Turtles, look at the Simpsons, Family Guy, dude, oh, look at all these loose figures, man, if you're missing any of these in your collection, look at, decent prices, man, 10, 15, 20 bucks, oh, look at that Two-Face, wow, look at that, Apocalypse, 100 bucks, come get your Apocalypse. Some Gundam figures in the back, dude. Look at those. 20 bucks takes that big one right there, man. Look at that. 80 bucks. Look at these Toy Biz Marvel Legends, dude. Some cool Star Wars stuff. As well as Black Series figures over here. Nice. That's a cool Luke. I really like the cool artwork up here. They're selling for a good price, too, man. Look at this, 11 by 17 prints, 15 bucks. Eight by 11, 10 bucks, GI Joe print, pack, all of them, 50 bucks. That's cool, dude. Tons of video games, DVDs. And over here, we got some more loose stuff. Look at this. Whoa. A lot of He-Man stuff. Ooh. G.I. Joe trading cards, 165 bucks, that's nice. Wow. It's for you vintage Joe collectors. Look at this guy. Sandman. Dude, no way, is that I love Lucy Barbie? God, it looks like it, right? 1961. Cool Lego pieces. Lots of good stuff, guys. Lots of different good stuff. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to take this guy. 
I broke, I always get something good in there. I had to get that Rocky Pop, dude. Just look at the stance. He's got the gloves down, he's got the hair. Dude, Rocky Balboa, I grew up with Rock. Oh, I gotta get the Apollo Creed too. Look at Apollo, that is sick. I grew up with Rocky, man. Um, his, his movies got me through uh, all of middle school and high school, man, like through sports and stuff and like depressing times. Dude, Rocky got me through, man. A story about overcoming the odds and just being, just doing what you got, just doing the best you can to get through it all and you know, with the love of your life, Adrian, like dude, those movies hit me to heart. And Rocky Balboa will always have a special place in my heart, dude. So to get a Funko Pop of him, why not? And then of course, like I said, dude, that little basket in there, there's always some goodies in there. Um, I scored a little uh, Patrick for Coco to go with her SpongeBob collection. Um, as well as this little plankton on this little Krabby Patty that he's like trying to sneak out with a, I don't know, some robotic legs, that's funny. Um, I don't know why I got this. This is like one of those Raggedy Ann dolls, right? I thought this would be cool to put in like a little prop for like maybe a little horror uh, short film that I do for my figures, maybe like a Michael Myers film or something, you know, where this is on the shelf. I just thought it was cool, why not? And then uh, from Codename Kid Next, from Codename Kids Next Door, the Cartoon Network show from back in the day, I have number one and I believe number five. I'm not sure if that's number five. Um, last time I came here, I had found the girl with the green sweater and I dropped her because I couldn't find the rest of them. So I went digging for her this time and she was gone. She's probably still in there, but I just didn't want to spend two hours digging for her. So my goal was to find all of them in there. They're not all in there. I'm pretty sure they're not. So I, I got these two just in case I end up finding the green sweater girl, whatever number she is. I think she's number four. Um, so yeah, dude, that basket is just full of old classic goodies, uh, cartoon figurines from back in the day. And I want them all, honestly, but I don't have the money to spend a dollar on each of those figures. I'd, I'd get the whole fucking basket. Oh my God. I would have gotten the whole basket if that was the case. But uh, little by little, I always drop by KS, man. They always got some good stuff. They always got something uh, pertaining to me that I can take home. A bunch of people trade their stuff there. You can always trade your figures, uh, get store credit, exchange for some other good stuff. So that's what I love about that place. Um, man, they had the entire G.I. Joe, almost the entire G.I. Joe Funko Pop collection. Um, for five dollars each five dollars a pop dude and oh my god the thrift store is open i might have to swing by here and see what they got um and they looks like all those pops sold out which i'm not surprised dude if you can get a whole entire gi joe funko pop collection for like 30 bucks i'm pretty sure you would buy the whole lot too so i was fortunate enough to get destro and cobra commander when they had them all in stock uh, I got them for five bucks each, dude. Ten bucks for Destro and Cobra Commander. You cannot beat that. The Redlands Thrift Store. I'm surprised they're open. They're usually closed around this time. Dude, I don't know what this is from, but it's only $10, and I can only imagine just giving this whole entire thing a repaint, either for one G.I. Joe or Cobra. G.I. Joe being all army green, decked out and everything, or Cobra all black with some red details. Dude, and just have all the figures standing on here, you know, different positions, and just having an all-out war. But number one, I do not have the time. That is so sick. And look at this, look at this. The ship departs, look at that. That is so sick. Yeah, I don't have the time to uh, redo this. And it's for small figures too. But look at that. That is so cool. 
R9. I didn't find much, uh, just a bunch of junk. And uh, I did find this cool SpongeBob um, Easter basket for Coco. So when Easter comes around, and it's perfectly clean too, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, there's no damage. So when Easter time comes around, Coco will have a basket uh, to go Easter egg hunting with, and she's just obsessed with SpongeBob, so I think it'll be good. And then plus, even without Easter, you can even hang this SpongeBob up, like in the room, maybe put the ears down, and it'll look like he's hanging off the ceiling. So anything for her, man, that I could find. It was only two bucks. Why not? Um, and then you guys saw that I picked up that Tacoma. Uh, the Tacoma, and it was only like five bucks for it. But, dude, I the only reason I grabbed it, I was thinking of repainting it like mine and making like a miniature version of my Tacoma. But I don't have the time to do that either, dude. That's the thing about being a creative artist like and, and wanting to repaint toys. Like... Dude, you just want to repaint everything because you know you can, but then you end up buying it, you come home, you set it aside and think, I'll get to it, and then fucking five months go by and you haven't painted shit. So that's a, that's the thing about having a creative mind is you just have so many ideas, but you don't have the time to get to it all. So uh, I thought, I'm not going to waste five bucks on this truck and then end up not doing anything to it. And plus, if I really want a miniature to uh, Toyota Tacoma like mine, I could always maybe find like a Hot Wheel or something that looks like it if I really want it that bad, but it's a want, not a need. So uh, the SpongeBob w was good enough, man. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day here. Uh, we'll do a little haul reveal at home and uh, yeah, call it a night. All right, so we are back in the Hunter's Cave and um, man, I gotta say, today was a pretty good day, dude. I mean, just getting a unexpected call from work saying that I don't have to come in today after working six days a week like it's just it's nice to finally have a day where I can choose what I want to do and go where I want to go we got some pretty good pickups so starting off right here from the Redlands Galleria I I still can't believe this was there dude this X-Men 97 Wolverine just with that beautiful classic look dude I mean just look at that just so stoked to have found this like and this is pretty new this is uh and this was made in uh 2023 so it is this is like one of the newest wolverines that we got and it's pretty cool you got storm bishop rogue i've seen rogue i've seen bishop i've seen magneto but i have not seen gambit storm or wolverine actually i may have seen gambit at a gamestop at one point i'm debating whether or not i want to open this box um it's really killing me because I really want to pose him and I really want to use that alternative head right there. Just looking how cool that alternative head looks just with the wide, um, what do you call it, like the wings on his head, the, the, the ears, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call them, but uh, dude, they just look so epic. And I really want to pose him. Man, we'll see. I don't know. For now, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put him above my Spider-Man that I have mint in box. God, it just looks so cool. But before I did find that Wolverine, I was lucky enough to find this Ken for Chloe um, in the vintage Barbie section that they had, man. This was a really good steal. Yeah, she said she wanted the authentic, original, blonde-haired Malibu Ken. Sure enough, man, we got him right here thanks to Mike the Hunter. So... Excited for her to add that to her Barbie collection. And then with my stop at... Uh, the local thrift store in Redlands. I scored these three little guys right inside of a toy treasure box that they had, all of them for a dollar each. Very cool, man. Uh, excited to add these to my little cartoon, vintage, bendy figure collection, as you guys have seen before. This is amazing. I just love the look of this Rocky right there in the box, man. Uh, I, I don't know if I want to take him out of the box either because Honestly, it just it looks cool like that as it is. I love that it says Rocky and it's a funky and it's a Funko specialty series too. A limited edition exclusive. And then another look at that Apollo Creed and then busted up Rocky too. Very cool, man. Like I said, Rocky's a very uh 
as it had a very big part of my life growing up so little side view there so cool man let me tell you something man Funko Pops are they're extremely addicting and I don't like to dabble too much in Funko Pops because if I do um, I start going crazy with them I start wanting all different types of characters in the Funko brand so uh, I know the ones that I always liked to collect are of course like my most favorite characters of all um, which there are a lot out there but man I, I just gotta be really careful with who I pick and choose and then the like the food brands like Kellogg brands and stuff like that like Twinkie Funko Pops cereal brand Funko Pops uh, candy brand Funko Pops stuff like that I like to collect a lot if I find them so those are my weakness when it comes to pops that is going to be it for today's awesome little toy hunt awesome day out with Mike and sweet little toy haul um, I know you guys have been waiting for one for a long time so I was glad to give you that and uh, it just feels good to be back in the groove of things and just have time to myself so with that being said folks I'm gonna go ahead and put these pieces away in my collection um, we will see you next time hopefully next time you see me I'll have that TV if not hey man I'm, I'm still gonna keep hunting for one because I really want to put one like right right there right on top of the uh, the detail just have a TV playing some cartoons in the background Freaking sweet until then folks I hope you do enjoy your figs I hope you enjoy your families and as always good hunting peace